Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Linda and today guys I have an unboxing for you guys. This is the Paul Rubens oil pastel set but before I begin why don't you go ahead and click that like button and give me a subscribe because I think you're gonna like it here. I am an art channel and everything about art I bring reviews, I do art hauls, I do demos, and I do tutorials. So um, I'm going to get started. So I wanted to share um, the Paul Rubens uh, oil pastel set. Now I bought this with my own money and I bought the 48 color set. So um, let's get started and look inside. So here I did the swatch. So let's just look at the pastels first. So there they are, and they are very, very nice. Oh my goodness. Um, they are very creamy, very velvety smooth, and um, this is the set of 48. There is other sets that they come in, and the sets that they come in are a set of 12, um, a set of 24, a set of 36, this is the 48 then there's also a set of 60 and a set of 72 I would love to get the maximum set of 72 um, but this set here has a lot of color choices as you can see here in the color swatch so um, what I did I did the color swatches out I went ahead and blended most of them and I'll show you what I blended them with. It is just a um, little style stick. And it has a um, slightly like a little rubbery end. Um, I have several of these. I'll show you what I've got here. And there's different sizes. And there is different ends that come with these. So here are the sizes, like you get a big chunk in. I used this round one. Um, there's like a smaller round one. Now I bought these, um, I believe, at Hobby Lobby. So you can check your local Hobby Lobby, you see if they still have them. They might even be on sale now. Um, but these are really nice. I really like these. So um, what I want to do is show you how nicely these blend here um, so I'm just going to take my little tool and I'm just going to blend the ones I haven't done yet so see, look at that it, they're just wonderful so what I do is I clean my end off before I go into the next color and I'm just using a little wipey an unscented wipey and um, then I go to a paper towel and take it some more then I just go on to the next so oh my goodness and these blend so beautifully I really really like these okay you can, you can see the mess I did because um, I was getting it on my hands it's so creamy and then we'll do the next one here Okay, and then we got one more on this row, but this gives you an idea how well they blend. Now they are numbered, but there is no, um, there's no, there's no names on here. Um, there, well, it, there, yes, there is. I'm sorry. Oh my, I need new glasses. They are numbered with the name very palely written below um, but I don't think you can get these in um, like singles uh, at least not yet I don't think but um, now down here I got some of the darker ones so I'm just going to finish off with these okay and you can see how well they cover the page or the paper this is on okay go to the next I love these little tools 
they are really really handy I really like those okay and then you can also um, do these with the q-tip so I'm just taking a regular q-tip and blending it out and I'm just going to switch to the other side of the q-tip okay, looks like I didn't get enough pigment on that one maybe I didn't on this last one either let's see nope, looks like it's going to be okay Alright, so there is the color swatch that, um, and there's all the colors. A nice array of colors in this set. I'm really happy with this set. Um, and I wanted to do a little flower, just kind of demo a little flower here to show you guys how well these blend. Now, this is uh, my mixed media paper. So I'm just going to bring this on, color this in. So the color I'm using here is permanent red. Um, and then the other one's coral. So here's the colors I have. Okay, so I'm just going to Fill that in. And then we're going to blend. And it goes quite nicely across this paper. Oh my. This is really nice. So comment below and let me know, guys, if you like using pastels in your artwork. Alright, so let me take... It looks like a Hawaiian flower a little bit. Okay. So, I'm going to take my Q-tip. And you can take a drop of baby oil and blend these with. So, you don't want a really oversaturated um, your, your tip. You just want enough on there to start your blending. So, we're just going to blend these two into each other okay oh my this is looking so nice I love how easy it is to blend it's like effortless <laughs> it is so nice so so nice okay there's that side now I'm just flipping it over I probably wouldn't have to do that, but there's a build-up. You can see the build-up on there. And I just want a fresh um, Q-tip. So, And you wouldn't have to worry about your um, the baby oil. It will evaporate and absorb enough so where it will not leave your paper like oily okay so there's that these are looking really nice oh my goodness they're blending really nice I'm gonna have some fun with these yes sir all right let's just continue on this here okay it smells good <laughs> the oil, baby oil is making it smell really good but these don't have any smell anyway at least I don't smell anything okay and then we have our last one. Okay. 
Okay. All right, so now I need to take, let me take, we need to get these middle in here. My edges could be a little better here. All right, so there you get an idea how nicely that these um, blend together. So these are the Paul Rubens, the oil pastels, and I'll link below where I found these. I found these on Amazon. So, and there you go. So there's what they look like. Really, really pretty. Okay, so, um, if any questions or comments, please put them down below. There's one more look at them again. And they come, like, with this nice little pointy tip. Very, very soft. Very nice to blend with. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I will see you guys soon. And have a happy day. Until next time, bye-bye guys.